Hi, I'm Lance Henriksen. You're watching Brian Lomax's Movie Talk. Hello there and welcome to another Christmas movie review as I do my 31 days of Christmas. Uh, this time it's Scrooge, a film that I have fond memories of from when I was a child. This was one of the first videos that we rented out. We had a habit of renting Bill Murray films out when, when we were very young, Ghostbusters being the first film I ever rented on video. Um, but yeah, this was one that we rented several times, repeated repeatedly I think um, and we just loved it it's basically a retelling of the Scrooge storyline I don't think I need to tell you what that storyline is we all know the story of Scrooge but it transplants it into a world in which that story exists uh, which is a bit of a novelty I guess so this character that we're following played by Bill Murray he isn't playing Scrooge he's just playing someone else who is this kind of TV network executive who has been tasked with putting on a version of Scrooge on his channel, on his network. Um, he's basically a money man. He's, he's all about the money, he's all about making figures work. It doesn't matter what cost, really, um, with regards to you know, what, what he should and shouldn't do, with regards to moral questions. Um, but yeah, his life takes the same turn as, as, as that of Scrooge, uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, he's visited by his old boss, uh, an old friend, who tells him that he's going to be visited by three spirits. And then he's visited by those three spirits who bear a striking kind of resemblance to the, the ones we've come to know in the, uh, in the obviously, obviously, the traditional tale. This is a very good film. Um, the problem with anything like Scrooge is that we've heard it so often in so many ways that it becomes a little bit flat. Um, it, it's very hard to kind of grab anyone with this story because we've just heard it so many times. But this film does, it really does grab you. It's got a fantastic score by Danny Elfman, one of his earlier ones before he went on did Batman. Um, and it does have a very kind of energetic feel to it. I really like the score for this. Um, but it really matches the tone of the film. This film is full of energy. That comes predominantly because of the performance by Bill Murray. He kind of just steals every scene that he's in. Uh, but there's a lot of other funny little characters in here as well. A guy played by uh, Bobcat Goldthwait, who you'll know from the Police Academy, uh, Police Academy, yeah, Police Academy series. Um, he is just this guy who gets fired at the beginning and we see throughout the film his progression into well his descent i should say into kind of madness as his life just keeps on going further and further down the toilet because he's lost his job and that in turn makes him lose his wife and yeah so he plays that really well he plays nuts really well goldthwaite does um but yeah, the way that we have the other characters interweave, like um, Bill Murray's wife, played by Karen Allen, who obviously people will know from Indiana Jones. She, she's very good in this. At, at times, maybe the weakest link, because you do kind of wonder why she is so still kind of enamoured by Bill Murray's character after some of the stuff that he does. She never lets go of the hope that I guess that, that he will change. She's just that kind of person. So you either go with that or you don't. Sometimes it doesn't quite ring true, but that's probably the weakest point in the movie, which is otherwise extremely strong. And this film is a PG as well, and there's stuff in this film that would definitely get the 12 rating today, the 12A rating. Um, so it kind of does make you think that actually maybe the 12A rating isn't such a bad thing because a lot of the films back then, you know, you'd either get the PG or you'd get the 15. So this, this kind of toes that line um, and kind of steps over that line when, it, when you're thinking about PG films, but it's not quite on the level to be a 15. So yeah, you know, maybe it's a good thing we have that 12 rating. But there's some pretty creepy stuff in this, some stuff that kind of makes you go, oh, Actually, as a young child, yeah, I do remember being pretty creeped out by that. There's some good special effects as well. When Bill Murray's ex-boss is holding him out the window and he kind of tears at his arm and his arm just kind of starts falling into pieces. Some really good kind of body horror effects there. The film plays as a great 
satire on the media industry, on the way that it tries to manipulate its audiences. There's one moment where Bill Murray's boss tries to convince him that they need to put more mice and little birdies and things like that in their programming because research has shown that cats and dogs are actually watching television. So you want to market to that demographic, which obviously is stupid, but on one level, it's also quite kind of perceptive because that is what the industry is like. Any market that they can that they can get, that they can attack, that they can exploit, they will do. And this film, like I say, is a very good study of the industry in that regard. So the film is directed by Richard Donner, who obviously brought Superman to the screen uh, in 1978, pretty much invented the modern day superhero film. Um, but he also did the Lethal Weapon movies, and he's done a ton of other movies that are actually really very good. He's probably one of the most underrated directors, to be honest. He's done an awful lot of really great films, this being one of them. Probably one of the best Christmas films, I'd say, this is. Uh, and I'd give it a four out of five. I'm not quite willing to go to that half. Maybe it's just because I've seen it so many times that the effect has been somewhat diminished. I think if I was looking at this film through my childhood eyes, it would probably definitely get that four and a half. But for now, I'm going to give it a four out of five, but it's a very high four out of five. If you've seen Scrooge, please comment below and let me know what you thought about it. And until tomorrow, when I'll be reviewing another Christmas movie, thanks for watching.